I don't think you want this to happen. Ever. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Pollen. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to check out this first-person exploration game, which has VR support, but since I do not own a VR device, we're going to check it out in the non-VR mode, which is apparently just as fun, just maybe not as immersive. Anyways, I'm going to jump right into the game. Uh, the game takes place in a timeline where Kennedy has never been assassinated, the internet was never, well, created or invented, and the space race continued on. And we are in some sort of capsule. Thank you for answering a social relationship section of this interview. <laughs> okay. Now, for the last section, please answer the questions as truthfully and as quickly as possible. I will try my best. What, what are the questions, though? We're doing a psychological assessment test. Okay, what what are the questions? Oh, press the blue button to continue. Well, I will do that in a second, but uh, yeah. We are basically sent to one of the bases that has been established in the space race, and everyone's missing. So they're sending us from the Rama <laughs> Industries. They're sending us to check out what's been going on. Classic, classic. All right, let's do this. I identify myself more as male. I'm interested in technical devices. Yeah, I kind of am. I prefer teamwork to working alone. Uh, in games, I like teamwork, but in ga games kind of... Eh. I like plants and flowers. Yes, very much so. I plan carefully rather than act immediately. Oh, no, I act. I, I do not plan. While reading, you suddenly realize there is a bee crawling on your arm. Ah, uh, let it be. Let it be, let it be. I would love to be a gardener. You know, I mean, I have no intention to be one, but yeah, sure. I, I'd love to be a gardener. Thank you for your willingness to work for Rama Industries. Yes. We are now processing your PAT4C2 answers. Okay, now there's the output. The answers. Please take a look at the benefits and terms of agreement on your right and left. Will do. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, we can zoom in and have a closer look. Working with Rama Industries. We have found a position matching your profile by That's not bad. Have a pleasant assignment with Rama Industries. Press the red button to accept the terms and conditions and begin working. Okay, I will do that. Let's let's begin working. I have no idea where I am. Am I flying to the base right now? Uh, landing pod approach on Titan surface. I mean, I assume they would, you know, test me before they sent me. Like, oh yeah, send this guy. We'll see if he's fine after we send everything there. Oh, my suit. Okay. Got some uh, information here. Oxygen supply, suit pressure, incoming transmissions, low battery. This is very cool. Some liquids on the glass or some streaks. Okay, I guess we're in the landing pod, so we're landing right now. You have your first task as the new technician of base M. We've I'm excited. We've communication link with the base. Re-establish the comm link between HQ and the comm station. When this is done, we will send further instructions. HQ out. Okay, no, no, no other information about our landing procedure or anything for the matter. Wait, <clears throat> I am in the landing pod, alone. There's been seats for other people, why wouldn't you send someone else, just in case? You're sending all of this pricey equipment, what happens if I pass out? What happens then? Your call. Your call. Ah, and I passed out. Told you that would happen. We are here. Look at this ugly landing pod. It looks like a giant helmet, actually. Looks like part of a giant robot that would attach and then form a human, uh, a giant humanoid-looking robot. Cool. All right. So this is Titan, wherever Titan is. I don't know what planet that is, but it's windy. And rocky, and it does not look like you want to breathe any of this. Like, nothing. Okay, we got some whatever this is. Uh, these look like satellites of some sort, but they're not hooked up, at least not visibly. Comm station. Let's, let's hook it up. Let's establish the link to HQ. Okay, ooh. It's dark. Hello, Simon here. Oh, I have a flashlight. Wonderful. Wunderbar. All right, guys. Who's hiding? The joke's over. Is that C4? That's C4. That's clearly C4. Where? 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 where what? What do I flick? What? What switch do you? Oh, this one. The big red one. Okay. Nice. Everything's running. Why would you even turn that off in the first place? All right. Ooh. That's the team. 
Operating Director Amanda Paul. Research Leader Phil Paul. Oh, a married couple. Data won't reach Stacy. There's not much we can do. We won't be here anymore. Do you think that... Why is the comm link to HQ back on? Well, that would be me. Did I undo that already? Can't be. I just saw him heading to the generator. Maybe we should talk to them? Phil, they didn't listen. They sent someone. Yes, they did. I, I don't know what they God said. Damn Rama executives. <laughs> you there, in the comm station. Yes. I'm the operating director here, Amanda Pohl. Would That would be you. There is no time to explain, but all the mission data is being loaded in the cargo train. This is Saturn HQ. Good. We have the comm link up. Thank you. Next, you should head to base half. Um, I don't hear what the other one says. You could lower the weather station telescope to protect it from the storm. HQ out. So, see, he, the HQ is, like, really, like, pumped and interested and, like, like hyped, but the other voice actors don't seem like they're really into it. <clears throat> All right, this is a folder. I can look at it. What is that? Rama Industries, Fat One. Sounds good. Okay, what do we have? Oh, a picture, a Polaroid. I guess that's when they came here. 93. Jeez, they've been, they've been fast. That's been August 93, I think. Oh, no. Okay. Well, fine, just drop it. I see we have some battery units, um, which I can throw if I feel like it. Good. That I bet that's not a bad idea at all. Atmospheric composition. Methane seems to be in the red. I don't, I don't know if I need to do anything with this. So, HQ wants me to lower something, and HQ didn't listen to the warnings, I guess. So, let's lower something. Let's lower a thing. Reinforce, main door. Eh, sounds fine. Let's, let's go out and lower whatever we wanted to lower. It's a little bit creepy when you can't look around. Copy that, Amy. Uh, I found the generator's control rod automation. I'll bypass it now. I see stuff. Oh, you're turning the generator back off? Let, let me guess. I'm gonna move down, and then you're gonna turn the generator on, and I can't go back to my escape pod. Okie dokie. Let's go down and see what's awaiting us. Ah, uh, they... Yeah, they built proper... Ooh. Yeah, really big operation here that they got going. That's not like a tiny little base. Well, I don't know what they what you said. Storm warning. Uh, lower. Wait, why would I lower this? I think to protect it from the storm, but I, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of feel that HQ has some. Evil plans or something. Ooh, replacement parts. No, can't open this. Fine. Let's make it down the stairs. Uh, should I run over this? I'll be radio silent for a moment. I'm putting on the suit and entering the airlock. Ooh, we have less gravity here. Fantastic. I can jump. Exciting. Like a little bit on the moon. I feel the moon's gravity is higher, though. Uh, le less though. This seems to be a little bit higher. Must be a pretty small planet, though. The lights are flickering a lot. Are they? What does that mean? The lights are flickering. What? What lights? Come again? What was that? Well, I'm, I'm, oh, oh no, oh no, my suit was hit. Warnings, suit pressure's going down. F find a way into this place, this is not good. You don't, I don't think you want this to happen, ever, in a suit like that, on a planet that has methane floating around, mostly dangerous levels of methane. You don't want that, okay. <clears throat> Open the gate, open the moat. Why do you even have that? So nobody else can walk over? Why is that a thing? Are there people living here and that's why you lower the mo the, the, the drawbridge? I mean, it's basically a drawbridge. Alright. We're going inside because otherwise I'm probably gonna pass out and die. So let's not do that. Let's stay alive. My favorite thing to do in games like these. Where do you think you're going? Okay, close it again. Hopefully, come on. Where, where do I close it? 
There must be a button to close it again. Okay. Um, everything's getting black and white. Looks like I'm about to pass out. When everything turns black and white, you know you're in trouble. How did I not? This is the most prominent place for it and I didn't see it. I'm sometimes really blind in hectic situations. Okay, are, are, we, are we good now? Are colors coming back to me? Colors are coming back or it's just the lights that were off. Nope, colors coming back as well. Good times. Oh, and it runs like butter now since there's no storm. Research EVA log. Interesting. Like the little details. Uh, I guess I can turn off my uh, take off my suit. Oh, boots. Uh, what's that? Oh, perfect. Iron. Oh yeah. Wasn't that the guy who wanted to head out? Uh, come again. What? That's not what a helmet should. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, hey, what's going on? That was like there was a little thing and stuff. Okay, I'm tripping. I'm high. Or not. I'm going to say this is not healthy. I I don't know. I don't know what that is. It doesn't it doesn't seem healthy at all. Ooh. It's like a multi-tool. I like it. I can't equip it, so I'm just gonna keep going and ignore whatever happened over there. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore the volume. Channels. Hello? 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 Are you... Is there some guy just on the microphone? Okay, hydroponics is locked, so we gotta find a way in there. Oh, I got some batteries. Very compact, I gotta say. Very compact. Some barrels. Oh, when I walk close to it, it starts to float. Okay. What if I take this thing over to the door? I have no reason why I would do that. Oh, press play. I did not see that. Per usual. Maybe almost a year or something. Yeah, tell me. I guess. Uh, I guess it is December already. Don't you have a calendar today, on your phone? Today I broke out of the airlock. Why would you do that? I took the jackhammer, removed the outer door, and I don't know what to make of this. I know this is connected to that thing in the cave. Ooh, caves. The entity. Ooh, the time it has a name. The things I've seen. I'm beginning to think there won't be a rescue. I guess that's her. Come again. Okay, so for now I assume that these, the helmets or whatever this is, is like a checkpoint. I have nothing else to assume. Wait a second. Wait, this is... <gasps> Wait, this looks different now. There's no panel on this anymore. Why is there no panel on this? Can I can I transmit something now? But it seems... Oh, with this, whatever it is, I'm teleporting between different universes. I have no idea. For the rescue team. Oh, okay. Let's uh, bring it along. What is that? Oh, it's a Sharpie. Did I, did I get the... Cassette? Void. What what does that mean? Void. Yeah, the stuff on here is also different. Am I teleporting between times? Because this is now crossed out. Can't get out alone. No rescue. Broke door. Nothing. So the door is now open. It is now open. Okay. And there's the lock that I probably would have needed. Let's face it, this doesn't look healthy. I must be in some sort of, like, alternate reality. What is this? Standard base door and ventilation manual. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. So now that I picked up the door panel, I wonder if I can open up the door to the hydroponics thing. 
I can, yes. Before I open this door, I want to see if I can put on the other cassette that I found. For the rescue team, yes, I want to know what's on this cassette. This is Karen Kowalski. I am a technician here in Research Base M. Hey, Karen. I don't know how, but it looks like everyone has disappeared. I was building the platform below the lab and then... Well, I'm alone here. Most of the power is off. Communications are out. And the airlock door is stuck. At least the oxygen level seems stable. Good times. I mean, you're so gonna probably starve. Place, come and find me. Wouldn't it have made sense to tell me where you are? I guess somewhere in the base, that makes sense. Shouldn't be too big, right? Anyway, let's open this. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're definitely ahead in time. That is not a good sign. When shit's on fire like that, that's not a good time. Oh, I guess this is where she hung out. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna jump down here. That seems to be her base of operation, where she hung out to wait for the team. There's another cassette player, and that's chicken flavor. A chicken flavor bar. What about this one? Long-term isolation in space. I could read this. Psychological and sociological effects of long-term isolation in space. Hmm. I don't want to read a giant book, but yeah, it's probably a good thing to read. What is that? Kill shot. A getaway driver is hired by a secret government. Yeah, I already don't care again. What's that? Hydroponics 101. I don't think I'm gonna plant anything. Let's see what's on this one. I try one. to keep Amy's research work going on here. Even with the lack of light, the plants seem to be doing fine. But the bees are behaving strangely. They seem to spread some kind of luminescent dust. That can't be good. Now they are keeping out of reach, so I haven't been able to catch one to examine, but. I'll keep trying. If this is some kind of experiment, I wouldn't mind it ending soon and the rescue team coming through the airlock. Yeah, I don't think this was an experiment. Alone in the dark. Well, you got a, you had a light there, in all fairness. Um, all right, oh, I turned it off. No, let's... Ooh, this is bright. Let's just throw it somewhere. Good. So, uh, we are somewhere within... A abandoned base. Yeah, this is, there's just stuff burning. Wouldn't that just eat up the oxygen in no time? And whatever is being distributed into this room, I don't, I don't know. Well, so far, no scary monsters. I appreciate that. There's some more empty cans over there. There's just been, just been littering everywhere. How dare you? Okay, more packaged tomato soups. Ah, tomato soups, my favorite. So I say I. Uh, yeah, I can't. It's hot. I can't go through there. I assumed that much. What about keep clear? This thing came. Yeah, this thing came crashing down. Very much so. Looks like some sort of stairs. Yeah, I can make my way up here. And oh, the cargo bay. Can I? Can I open it? It nope. It seems kind of broken. It seems very broken. Some oh, some weights. Open door! No, can't throw it. Fine. I tried. What is this? Lights. With names attached to it. Whatever that means. Ah! The crew quarters are open! How about we're gonna check out the crew quarters in the next episode? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Let me know if you would like to see more. I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye bye!